So you just started your search for your first ever microphone and you might be asking yourself, should I get a USB or maybe an XLR? Or perhaps you have no idea what I'm talking about, almost as if I was listing off different breeds of unicorns. Well, you came to the right place. Not for unicorns though, I, microphones, right? Microphones? Yeah, yeah, microphones. This is Aiden Wolf. One offers cheaper prices, at least most of the time. And one can be overwhelming and sometimes a bit confusing. Now, they're both microphones and can both be used to record audio onto your computer, but in different ways. To explain that, though, you have to understand how your voice is able to magically appear on your computer screen after going through this cylinder-looking thing called a microphone. Is it fairies or magical sound-carrying unicorns? Perhaps. No, it's not at all. You see, the sound you make with your face hole has to be digitized and displayed as an audio waveform and played back out your speakers and headphones as audio, which is no small feat. And that process is called ADDA conversion or analog to digital, digital to analog conversion. Are you confused yet? Okay, well, I guess I can break it down a bit more. So the sound leaves your mouth and goes through the microphone. It then goes into a DAC or digital to analog converter, which turns it into zeros and ones, binary. And then the computer takes that information and spits it out in a waveform that can be played through your computer. Once again, ADDA conversion. It's not fairies or magical sound carrying unicorns. I know, I too am disappointed in knowing this. But how does that differ between the two mics? Well, a USB mic is a fully contained system that can be plugged directly into your computer with nothing else in the way. Most of the time, it's pretty much plug and play, or I guess plug and talk. It will have its own monitoring jack as well as some onboard volume control, possibly the ability to pick polar patterns, and that's pretty much it. It also has that DAC inside of it, so it does all the work internally. The XLR, on the other hand, has this three-pronged thingy that seemingly goes nowhere. Well, that's because it's missing the DAC. That is what you would use an interface for. Now, an interface is basically an external DAC with a whole bunch of extra bells and whistles. And that's pretty much as simple as I can put it. But then if they both do the same thing, well, does it really matter which one you go with? Yes, it actually very much matters. You see, DACs aren't all created equal. And if you buy a strictly USB microphone, well, you're stuck with whatever DAC came with it. But there's also another hitch with that information. You see, there's no way to plug a strictly USB microphone into an interface, and computers will only be able to talk to one DAC at a time, meaning only one USB mic can be used on a computer at any given time while interfaces can have as many mics plugged into them as there is room. Also, with an XLR connection, you can switch out any mic with any interface or any interface with any mic. It's a veritable orgy of mics and interfaces if you want it. Also, there's another thing that comes up, preamps. That is the thing that offers amplification to your microphone, making the face hole sounds louder. And if they're sucky preamps, yeah, they can add a lot of sound to your recording. And if that's the only option that you're running with, well, you're kind of stuck with it, which can be very limiting. But if you have an XLR setup, well, you can upgrade it. Just go find yourself another interface and you can change the whole quality of your studio with just that one purchase. Now, there are two things that can really make the case for a USB microphone. Ease of use, <laughs> they're brain dead simple, and portability you can literally carry it in your laptop bag. However, if you think it's a fool's errand these days to just go out and buy a USB mic, well, not really. Over the past couple years, microphone companies have been getting smart and they've started offering up USB microphones that also have passed through XLR connections. Meaning if you wanna upgrade your gear without having to reinvest in mics, well, you can do that now. So if you'd like the ease of use of a USB microphone while also eating your cake with the upgradability of an XLR, well, you champion, you can do just that. I'll make sure to link some up down in the video description. Thanks for watching. Did I actually help you make a decision? 
well, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, beat the living f out of the like button. If you really liked it though, try out that other button, you know, the red one. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next video.